Today we're going to take a look at the differences between a rolling shutter camera and a global shutter camera for capturing action videos. I'll be showing you a side-by-side -side comparison of a video sequence that was captured with two different types of cameras and take a close look at some of the imaging issues associated with each. Cameras I used for this test were the GoPro Hero 3 with an electronic rolling shutter CMOS sensor and a Bobcat camera from Imprix that has a global shutter CCD sensor. The two cameras were mounted on a car side by side facing out the driver's side window. With this setup, cars going by in the opposite direction moved rapidly into and out of the field of view. You can see from the clip that the two cameras were in close sync operating at 30 frames per second. At first glance, it looks like both cameras are capturing the sequence in the same way, aside from the difference in exposure settings. But let's look a little closer. Here's an individual frame from each camera that shows a car going through the field of view. Notice anything odd about the GoPro frame on the left? It kind of looks like a Looney Tunes version of a car that's accelerating to the left. And the wheels are oval shaped instead of round. This distortion is caused by the electronic rolling shutter in the image sensor of the Hero 3 camera. Here's what's happening. You can think of an electronic rolling shutter as a narrow strip of exposure that travels down the field of view as shown by the bright strip in the image. The red arrows indicate which direction the exposure strip is going with time. If the exposure strip is narrow and an object in the field of view is moving fast, the position of the object will have changed by the time the exposure strip goes from top to bottom of the field. In this case, the top of the car was exposed before the bottom was, and by the time the exposure got to the bottom, the car had moved to the left. By comparison, in the image from the Bobcat Global Shutter Camera, the entire frame is exposed at the same time, so no distortion takes place. One way to reduce rolling shutter effects in cameras like the Hero 3 is to increase the width of the exposure strip. How can you do this? By increasing the exposure time. Unfortunately, most GoPro cameras are factory set to auto exposure mode, so there's no direct way of manually setting the exposure time. A way around this is to put a neutral density filter in front of the GoPro lens. This has the effect of darkening the scene, which forces the auto exposure electronics to increase the exposure time. You should be aware that doing this reduces the overall dynamic range of the camera and can produce a blurred image instead of a distorted one. So if you want to capture fast motion with the minimum amount of distortion, global shutter cameras will give you a better result. 